So in this particular lecture, let's start building this application. And the very first component which we will be focusing on to create our application is going to be this form component right here. So let's build a component which looks something like this, which should be able to accept a to-do item. And then it should also be able to add it to the list. So this is our application which looks empty right now. So let's head back to the code here. And over here, I'll create a brand new component. And as we have to create a component here, let's create a component inside the components folder. So right up over here in the source folder, I'll create a new folder. Let's call this folder as components. And in this, we will be creating our first component, which is going to be the to do component. So I'll right click over there, create a new file and name this component as to do.jsx. Make sure that you use capital letters as the naming convention for this one. And over here, let's write the basic code, which we always write for creating a component, which is export default function to do. And let's make this thing return a regular div with some text like to do. All right. So now let's import this one in the app.jsx. So over here, I'll get rid of this main app, which we have. And instead, I will go ahead and import the to do component and add that component up over here. So now if I head back over here, as you can see now it says to do and that's exactly what we want. So now here we wish to create a form inside this particular to do component, which should be able to accept uh, the data like the to do item. So over here, instead of making this thing return a simple div, uh, let's make it return a form instead. So over here, I'll get rid of this to do. And instead I'll create a form, which is going to be a regular HTML form. And inside this, I want a single input. The type of this input is going to be text. Let's not add any kind of name or ID to this one. So I'll delete that. And over here after this, I also need to have a submit button using which the user should be able to submit the to do item. So here I would say, I want a button. I would also type in the type of this thing to submit because this button is going to submit the form. And this should say some text like add. All right, so if I go back, as you can see, our form over here is ready. So here in this form, we will be adding a to-do item. And now in order to capture or store this particular to-do item, we need some kind of a variable. Now in a React component, you don't just create normal variables because the data inside those variables won't persist. Therefore, you have to create state variables. So in order to save to-do items, here you need to create a state variable called as to-do. And you have to create that using use state hook. So you say const create an array, have the to do, which is the state variable. Along with it, you also need to have a function which actually sets that particular state variable. So I would say set to do equals use state. And let's say initially, the initial value of this state variable is going to be empty, which is an empty string. So I'll add empty string here. All right. So now once we have the state variable, now we simply have to take the value of this variable and sort of bind it to this particular input field, which we have. So in order to attach it to this one, I would simply say value equals, that's going to be this to do item right here. So I could say value equals to do. So now what happens is you cannot go ahead and type anything over here because react has now set this value to empty. So if you say hello here, that value is going to be automatically set over here and you won't be able to change it. So now let's make it empty one more time. And over here, now we have to go ahead and say that, all right, this element is controlled by React, but we should be able to add some data here. And therefore we add an on change attribute to this input field. So on change and on changing, what we have to do is we have to capture the typing event, which is happening here and take the key, which is being pressed using e.target.value and then make use of the set to do to actually set the value of the to do which we have. So over here, first of all, I'll use a callback function. And this callback is going to get an event object. From that event object, we are going to get the value which is typed in by the user. And then we will take that value and set the value of this to do to that particular value. And therefore I would say set to do and set the value to E, which is event dot target dot value. So as soon as I save this, now this thing becomes functional. And if I type in hi there, as you can see the value over here changed. And that's exactly what we wanted as well. All right. 
So now we are able to type in any kind of to do value like workout and this component is now functional. However, if I click on add, this value does not go anywhere. Instead, the page actually gets refreshed and the data which is entered here is lost and it's no longer saved anywhere over here. So in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn how to handle the submission of this form in React and take the data entered by the user here and save it into some other state variable which is going to hold all the to-do items for our application. So let's learn how to do that in the next one.